Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about Banker's algorithm for deadlock detection. So let's discuss the algorithm first. It says now it's it has a couple of steps. So let's discuss it step by step. First of all, it says make finish equals to false for all the processes having allocate not equals to zero. We also do work equals to allocate. Now allocate not equals to zero means that they have some of the resources allocated to them, right? So make finish equals to false for all the processes having allocate not equals to zero. And we also do work equals to allocate. So now next is find i such that finish i equals to false and request is less than equals to work. Now what is this? It says that find i find a process whose finish i is equals to false whose finish flag is set to false that means it has not been processed yet and this request is less than equals to work work means what are the available resources uh, provided or what are the resources available to us now request is less than equals to work request whatever it is requesting it is less than equals to whatever is available resources with us now if you get a resource then you proceed if you do not get sorry if you get a process then you proceed forward if you do not get any process that means all the processes have been processed or the requested need is not less than equals to what is available that means in that case what would you do you will just exit right so if no such process then you exit or go to step four we'll see what the step four is but otherwise, if you find such a process, what you would do is work equals to work plus allocate. So what you do is we add, we assume that now we have allocated all the processes to it. So after it completes, what would happen is it will release all the allocated resources. So the available will increase eventually. So the available will be what? It will be available plus the allocated ones. And finish i equals to true. Finish i equals to true means I have processed this. Uh, process now then you move on to the next one it says if finish i equals to true for all the processes that means if all the processes have been completed have been processed then the system is deadlock free otherwise the system is in deadlock right otherwise the system is in deadlock and importantly over important step over here is you keep on checking until you find that finish i equals to true for all the processes or uh, you are basically coming to this step after this so what you do is you keep on completing this thing this step <coughs> sorry this step for all the processes so after you have checked each and every process once you uh, reach the step 4 then obviously if you're reaching the step 4 it will be this situation that means the process the system is in deadlock if all the finish i is not equal to true so now after detection it will be after detection of the deadlock what you'll have to do you'll be actually trying to recover from the deadlock so there are two processes two way outs first one is abort the process or processes second one is, second one is preempt the resource so the first one is abort the process right so first one is just abort the process now how you abort the process first of all abort all the processes participating in the deadlock state you bought all that all those processes then you abort one process at a time and again check for deadlock so there are two way outs either abort all the processes or you bought one process at a time and again check for the deadlock if deadlock still exists then abort another process and keep rotating uh, repeating the process until the system is deadlock free so this is step by step abortion this is abortion in one step right the second way out is preempt the resources to preempt the resources what does it say it says that choose the process for resource preemption on the basis of priority of processes nature of processes and percentage of completion of processes so basically if there is uh, some process which has not just started right now and there is another process which is just about to complete so you can what you can do is you can uh, uh, preempt the resources from the new process and give it to the 
one which is just near to completion after it completes you can again give back the resources or on the basis of priority if there is some deadline or something of a particular process you can preempt the resources from other processes and give it back to this particular process or nature of processes if there is some process which is taking too long to complete and the other processes are just in deadlock because of that process then in, in that case obviously it is a wise decision to preempt the resources from that particular process and give it back to all the other resource, uh, all the processes. Now save the content or roll back the process. In such a case, what you need to do is save the content or roll back the process and choose the process while taking care of no starvation. You also need to take care that there, there should be no starvation. No process should get starved because of your decision. So that's all for this particular session of deadlock detection and um, recovery from deadlock. So I'll be covering some more topics uh, on the same context on deadlocks, maybe some questions from gate as well. So stay tuned for more good work coming up. Thank you.